Hey folks, a lot of you ask when we did this wall tour here about how we do European mounts. And a lot of times I'm on the road and I have to hire people to do them. Fortunately, I got a week at home right now. I got a break. And we're gonna show you how easy it is to do a European mount. I'm gonna find a rag here. Sometimes you're not gonna be able to get the, the entire head submerged. It'll move that water back and forth over there. As the water steams and boils, it'll start breaking off all the, the tissue up here. So when I come out in a little while, I'll look and see how much film of oil is on the surface. So I'll probably squirt a little bit of Dawn detergent on there. It's been boiling for a long time now. I'm gonna turn it off and uh, I'm gonna take it out. <clears throat> I normally try to shake off as much of this stuff as I can. What I'll do is boil this and uh, just get these last pieces to really cook off here. I think we're about ready to give this elk another shake and another look here. We might actually end up taking them over to my garden hose and uh, spraying them down once we get these last bits of gunk off here. Heavy dose of water. I've seen people use all kinds of different compounds for white. I've seen them use spackling compound. I've seen them use a multitude of things. Put it over there. Well, folks, you saw us do the whole process on this elk. We removed all the tissue and then we whitened it. I'm wiping off the excess and I'm gonna let this sit for probably another day. And then I'm gonna come and look at it again. And I got this little wire brush here and I just go along and I find places where Sometimes the water builds up a little bit of film on, on the antler. Clean up the small pieces. And I think I pretty much got it. Do your own Euro mounts. They're a lot of fun. They can be a little bit of work, but gonna save you a lot of money. And when it's all said and done, you're gonna have these preserved for the day when you're maybe just sitting around thinking about, hey, that was a good elk hunt. These serve as the memories to remind us of why we hunt. Thanks for watching, folks.